Lewis, welcome to the room. Uh, let's get started with our first two questions from uh, Anthony Dasher and Mark Weiser. Hey, Lewis, good to see you today. Just kind of, why don't you kind of talk about the job that, that DK and, uh, and Keeley have done this year and kind of how they make your job easier? Um, well, for one, they kind of been strapped on, the, on their men. You know, you give them one assignment, you tell them, hey, well, we got this guy for you to lock down or we got this guy for you to put on clamps. And they do exactly that. They play assignment ball. They know, they know what they're supposed to do. They know where their help is. They're just smart guys, and they do what they're supposed to do, which makes it easier for me because, you know, I got faith in their skills and, you know, their game. Hey, Lewis, uh, Kirby was just talking to us earlier about, I guess it was back in the winter when he kind of switched up the workouts and had you guys go to the stadium early morning. What, you know, what was that like? Um, did it, is that, uh, you know, one of the strings that were, that was pulled that helped this team kind of bond and, and get to where you are now? Yeah. Um, uh, we, we might talk about the fact that, you know, we worked out at, at five in the morning, possibly I remember, but, um, I don't think anyone brings up the fact that we had to do, we had to run up the stadium stairs 15 times. So, uh, 15 times for a number of games we're going to be playing God willing. So, uh, you know, uh, which says a lot because, you know, we, we, had a, we have a goal and um, we're going to see it through. Thanks. Let's go to Jake Rowe and then Seth Emerson. Lewis, what, what has changed for you guys this year from last year to this year defensively? What's new? Um, you know, Kirby's kind of alluded to it, um, kind of talking about maybe how he took some stuff off y'all's plate and maybe want you to be – allow you a chance just to be athletes what would you say has changed within the defense from last year to this year um well you you, you said it yourself man um you know the playbook shrunk so now you know he, he the coaches allowed us to just you know play ball and do less thinking where um not even you know teams nowadays are doing a whole lot of shifts a whole lot of motions where you know the way our plays are set now is it cancels all that where it stays the same. So we don't have to constantly keep running around for people or, you know, it, it causes less mental errors and prevents big plays, I will say. So um, that helped, uh, you know, in a major way. But other than that, it's just everything's kind of been the same um, other than playbook. And then it's just our mindset is different for this year than it was past years or, um, you know, we're more connected. We we decided to, you know, go deep in the roots of, you know, how can we be better from past years? And it all came down to how close we were with one another and how um, how well did we know each other. So the, um, we started, it started from that, really. Lewis, uh, that was the question I was going to ask, so I'll ask a more hard-hitting question. Where, where do you fall on macaroni and cheese as a Thanksgiving side? Do, do you believe it is or not? Uh, I'm Haitian, so I don't eat macaroni and cheese. I, I, okay. do, I do the whole rice, beans, chicken. So I, I, I've, I've never had macaroni and cheese for, for So I can't talk for other people. I've never had it personally. Thanks. Go to uh, Connor Riley and then Palmer Toms. Yeah, hey, Lewis. Um, now, 11 games into the season, what impact do you think Will Muschamp has had on this team and him coming in, you know, obviously, in the offseason and then in, in August, moving to an on-field coaching role? Oh, man. Um, coach Champ has been uh, blissful. Uh, as a coach, you know, he brings a whole lot of energy, a whole lot of juice to the rooms, to the meetings. And um, I've soaked in a whole lot of knowledge from him personally. Uh, he's, he's in my ears and, you know, I make sure after plays, I go to him, hey coach, how could I, what could I have done better? You know, what did I do wrong? Or what did you see that I didn't see? And, you know, kind of soaking all the knowledge that he got. Cause at the end of the day, coach smart is a, is a great coach, but it makes, it does something when you have like two head coaches and in your meeting. So you try to soak in as much from not only from this guy, but the other guy and coach champ is that guy. Lewis, thinking back on that, those, you know, 15 trips up and down the stairs uh, during the summer, were there times where, you know, you maybe felt like 
you know, you had to rely on a teammate or something? And, and if so, uh, you know, who were a couple of the guys that you maybe counted on to, you know, maybe motivate you or, or get you through the workout? Uh, personally, I wouldn't say I had to depend on them because I, I think I, I'm a guy that's in real good shape. But um, can't say any now. I, I, we have had leaders to help other guys up, push them up, uh, you know, because, you know, it's, it was a long climb. It was long. It was tiring. But we finished strong, and that's really what mattered. Uh, you didn't see guys really quit. Uh, and that's, that's, what, that's what I liked about the whole thing. And, uh, you know, guys kept pushing. Go to Tyler and then Ryan. Hey, Lewis. It seems like we've seen – it's been a while since we've seen a defensive back back there returning kicks for Georgia. Have you ever returned kicks at any point in your career? And um, who do you think would be the best guy in the defensive back room back there with the ball? Probably DK. Um, but in the college level, no, I've never, never returned ball. But D, DK does in practice. Um, um, if he, if he it comes to, to the point where doing in the game, he'll be a real natural at it. So I think I'll say DK. Lewis, at what point in the offseason did you know that the defense and the team was going to be special? Channing told us uh, t in summer workouts, you guys were working hard on everything, and he knew that this was a special group of guys. When was that point for you? Good question. Um, I would say the summer. It was, it was definitely the summer uh, summer workouts. I mean, for after spring, you kind of see what, where, where you're at with, in terms of who you're going to be working with. But in the summer, we kind of have like a whole lot of pieces filled in now that, that were, the guys that are playing with us now came in. And it kind of, it was like, you look at the team, it's like, man, we, we have something real special. And there's also the fact when you do conditioning, you see like linemen running with skills. <laughs> that, that, that says something crazy. You, you got linemen running with us, us skill guys. You got uh, for tight ends run, running with us skill guys. So it's like, yo, we, we, we got one heck of a team with a whole lot of athletes or a whole lot of talent. Um, we're going to be special. We're going to do something special. You changed your hair due today too? Oh, yeah, man. You notice, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Lewis, uh, that's all the time for you tonight. Thanks for your time, and uh, we'll see you soon. All right, thank you, guys.